years, and there's still no justice for Palestinians, no dignity, and we have and we have the word basically closing their eyes to the plight of Palestinians. That's been going on for hundreds years. It's absolutely diabolical. But thank God, people are actually waking up and I'm willing to actually fight for the Palestinian cause. We're from Bristol and this week we've been out in our town centre on one of the busy roundabouts displaying this like all day. And the cars are going past, they're hooting their horns to sing the Palestine flag. And even though we don't get the coverage from the mainstream media, we know this is getting a message across that what Britain did to Palestine was wrong. It was wrong a hundred years ago and it is wrong now. Palestine! to work in the factories which make goods to be sent outside because they get their salaries from they Israel lots, and they, they can pay a lot. The so you are, you are demonstrating <laughs> against Palestinians? No, we're not because Palestine wants this demonstration to happen. Really? Palestinian what people, yeah. Palestinian? The Palestinian people. Israelis treat Israel the Palestinians, treat the Syrians and Libyans. So what is your problem with this demonstration? Because what is your it's problem? against Israel, against Balfour uh, Declaration, uh, uh, and I this tell demonstration you, F is up. In it has been done 100 years ago. That the ago British government should apologise for the Balfour no, Declaration. They take pride. What take about pride. Saudi Arabia? If you criticise Israel, you are anti-Semitic. That is total rubbish, nonsense. She's just been fed distortions and disinformation from the Israeli lobby, which is very, very powerful in England. You never hear about it in the elections, but it's there all the time. It denies Palestinians the right to exist, but yet fights for Israel to continue. Thank you. Good man. Thank you. There's people walking past and when we're on a demonstration it's not an internal act. It's a demonstration for the public and a lot of people don't know. We maybe know what we're doing but many people don't. So it's incumbent upon people who are confident enough to talk to passers-by about what's happening and the reason why we're here. It's a hundred years since Lord Balfour was an unelected male at a time when women couldn't vote. It was the Foreign Secretary of Britain. Gave away land that wasn't British to give away um, in order to try and Beat the uh, the German and the Ottoman uh, German and the Ottomans and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and so they gave away land in historic Palestine uh, for centuries. People of all all faiths and no religious faith lived together peacefully, and they decided to give away land because they didn't want people like my ancestors who were who came from Russia. They were persecuted. They came to Britain, and uh, people like Lord Balfour and Winston Churchill. They hated them. They cooked funny food, they smelt a bit funny, they looked a bit odd, they had funny beards, and they spoke strange languages, and they didn't like them. So they passed the Aliens Act of 1905, and they thought, you know what, maybe we can give away this land. Yeah, we don't want them coming here, maybe we could send them over there. There's only a small number of Zionists at the time. It was a political project, a Zionist project, and we need to call it out for what it is. And that's what we're doing today. So we say, go buy this! Go buy, go buy don't buy Israeli wine, there's a boycott going on. Don't buy this. Don't buy Java fruit. Don't buy Israeli wine, there's a boycott going on. There's a boycott going on. Although Theresa May and the Conservative government say that Britain supports Israel, it's painfully clear actually that the actual people of Britain support Palestine and we always will do. Against the 